Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we made it. You can, you do. We you start. You went. You, you advanced towards. So you, you went through, this, through the floor. You, you, through the area you of Twilight. The outskirts of Twilight Town in hopes of finding out whatever is causing this curse. And here we have a new enemy. This is a hyper cleft. Just like its Bogglywood counterpart, stupidly high defense. Laughably weak to Quake Hammer. The only real difference here is that this time they can charge. General rule of thumb that any enemy that has a green purple color scheme can charge their power. And what badge is this? I forget. Here we get Hammer Throw! Uh, Hammer Throw is one of those badges that, to be honest, it's okay. It's not necessarily all that great. Why isn't this working? Flurry, do your job better. <laughs> Now we find ourselves in the background, venturing onward. Now, since we can't push forward, once again, strange thing, flurry. We find ourselves in the background once again and are now able to push this rock, which seems to have some telepathic link with the rock in the foreground. And as one moved, the other moves with it. Well, regardless, we can get past now. And there it goes. Truly the greatest way to end a fight. Asleep. Here we find ourselves. At the creepy steeple. This is the creepy steeple, where mon the monster supposedly lives. This place creeps me out. Let's get that crystal star and get out of here as fast as possibly can. Okay? Well, this doesn't seem to budge. Ugh, I wanna open. Well, perhaps we can jump down here. Nope. Nope! Shine's bright. Hello? I'm not sure if we've shown this enemy before or might have popped up in the Blitz Pit, but in case we haven't, this is a Buzzy Beetle. They're functionally similar to Koopas, so just jump on them to knock them over. They're not much of a threat after that. Well, since we can't really progress down here without going through that horde of Buzzy Beetles, we shall take advantage of our new ability to, to small spaces. Because it just leaves the door unlocked. Assuming the monster is a he, of course. Before we go any further in here, actually, I'd like to do something, wrap something here real quick. If you head in here, you can find a Shine Sprite, Star Piece, and of course, two treasure chests. First chest contains an Ice Smash, which will be very useful in an upcoming area. And the second chest contains a cookbook. Look, we'll be doing something with that in a, that in a bit, but you do want to grab that. It is very much worth your time. It's not even that far out of the way. Well, I'm sorry. Hello. My friends are all gone. I'm so very lonely. Well, he's not gonna let us go in there. Or there. Stinking boo. Move, statue! Physics! Well, since we see a once again more appealing paper, fl Flurry? You have one job. Huh? Wait. Flurry, did you just go through the wall? I may never understand how you work. Here we get the flower saver. Or you can use this to let you spam abilities more often if you find yourself running out of FP constantly. Though to be fair, if you're running out of FP a lot, I might, I would personally say the better option would just be upgrade your FP when you level up. Here we have a box. What do we do when we find boxes? Open them! Okay, quiz time, interloper. Just now, oh, when the box opened, how many spoos came out? Total, around 100. Too bad, foolish mortal. Correct answer was 200. 
but we'll send you home with a parting, this parting gift. See ya, sucker. Okay, I always forget the answer to that one, but if you answer it correctly, he will give you an Ultra Shroom, so yeah. This door's locked. Well, maybe now that Boo will stop being so whiny about the fact that all of his friends are gone. We now can actually advance in this area. You want to be mean to me. No. Promise? Come on out, guys. Oh dear. That's a lot of booze. Now what you want to do here is actually let them start to swarm you. Start bashing them away. And... <laughs> you said you'd be nice. Let's get them, guys. Do that, and... All the booze will start congealing into this giant mass and become... The Atomic Boo. This is an optional boss fight, and I'll be blunt, kind of a nuisance. He's not exactly all that challenging if memory serves. Just keep bashing at him and he'll go down. So yeah, that is one of his attacks. He has a few others. Again. Come on, I know you have other attacks. Oh yeah, actually, one thing I'd like to point out real quick is the fact that there are boos in the audience. The only reason I want to point this out is because boos can actually go up on stage and make a character invisible, so that's just something I wanted to point out real quick. Okay, so different attack, but same nuisance underneath overall. Really bad. Be failing at dodging this guy's attacks. But with one more attack, he should go down. And that was the atomic boo! Overall, not, not all that difficult of a fight, in all honesty. But for defeating him, you will acquire the Lucky Start Badge, which will give you a random status bonus when you enter battle. This is a really good badge, and I honestly didn't say consider picking it. And out regards if you plan on using it or not, at the fight it is good for experience, if nothing else. One other thing I'd like to point out real quick is that swoop Ooper there or is on the ceiling. And he's on the ceiling can't be reached by Mario's normal jump, or Goombella. But Flurry, on the other hand, is actually quite capable of reaching these enemies. And once she hits them, she knocks them down into a range that, that Mario and Co. can't actually hit. But, looking at the time, I think I'm gonna call this episode here. Or in the next episode, we will continue exploring in the creepy steeple and see what else we can find that's going on around here. Also, there are now boos in this front hall, all after defeating the atomic boo. See you guys then.